let me present before you the powers of police karnataka state police in reference to the controlling mechanism law in reference to controlling mechanism which empowers the state police to control riots disorder unlawful assembly violence and any act that is disturbing or likely to disturb the peace of certain area the police karnataka state police act 1963 the commissioner of police or the magistrate individually as the case may apply depending upon the area by virtue of section 35 36 37 38 and 39 have the absolute powers when they have information when the police have information that a group of people likely to assemble and are likely to cause disturbances in the society likely to cause disturbances for the peace living in the society which is likely to cause disharmony in the society which is likely to cause panic amongst the citizens amongst the people so in such a situation police are empowered by the virtue of 35 section 35 to 39 they can go to the area search any houses or all, all the houses on which they have doubt on the which they have information and take into custody of such anti social elements who are to cause or having caused or likely to cause such unlawful activities so as to disturb the peace in society they are empowered to arrest the people who are involved or who are likely to be involved and the leaders who are influencing the people as a group of people who are likely to cause such an anti social act which is to disturb the society and the prevailing peace in such situation police when they enter when they search they have the authority to seize the weapons it may be the collection of stones arms ammunition sticks lotties machetes any weapons of any metal they can seize all such and even illegal money if it is found they are likely they can seize all such arms and ammunition equipments which the said group or such gang is likely to use to disturb the peace to involve in vandalism and disturb the peace and likely to damage the public property and the private property and to create the panic in the society such seized goods will be deemed to be the property of the state government when the police is decision the, the whatever the articles that is seized all that will be deemed as a government property and the people are arrested can they can be arrested they can be taken into the custody and legal action can be initiated against them and when they have suspicion a doubt the police will parade march past will take place along with the show of the arms that is the lati or the gun the show of arms in the disturbed area or in the area which is likely to be disturbed police can do the march past can conduct a parade in order to create first thing is this parade will in will uh, instill fear amongst the people who are likely to cause damage the public property or likely to cause damage the public peace or likely to cause 
vandalism and which may also result in communal violence. So first thing is, this is to instill fear amongst this antisocial elements. The second thing is, to give confidence to the public at large, who are also living in the same area. That there is police force ready to take on such illegal antisocial activities and to control in order to provide protection to the public at large and to ensure peace in the society. So Karnataka Police Act 1963 is fully equipped and the police by the order of the commissioner or by order of the uh, magistrate can swing into action to take control of the situation in order to ensure normalcy is retained.